Hello everyone and welcome to episode 7 of my playthrough of Prison Architect Alpha 34. It's being uh, developed quite nicely now. Um, introversion are working hard, although it's surprisingly taken a long time for it to actually reach its full state. But here's my prison. Uh, in the last episode I showed, you, showed off the workshop that I've been building. So I've got some little uh, people who are hopefully being trained to work in there. There we go, we've got Mackenzie. Concentration bad, understanding excellent. So he can't concentrate, but he knows what he's talking about. Right, that's not going to work. <laughs> we got Sean Leavers. His concentration bad. <laughs> Went from adequate to bad. Attendance, 62%. Looks like they're doing well. Success chance, 100%. Okay, this will be cool. Um, going to have these guys working round the clock. Hopefully producing goods and lots of money for my, uh, for my prison. Now... The other thing we've got is our laundry uh, place, which is pretty cool. Now, I've been receiving lots of comments, uh, or lots of, or one, you know, really very informative comment from Elfwin, and he's been teaching me lots of stuff. So thank you very much, Elfwin. Um, one comment that springs to mind right now is the having a cleaning cupboard, which sounds pretty good. So that way I can allocate prisoners to clean. Uh, the prison as opposed to having loads of janitors so that's like free labor which is perfect so I'm gonna go ahead and build a little cleaning cupboard down here hopefully that's big enough let's have a look how big it needs to be and uh, where is the cleaning cupboard on here where are your cleaning cupboard sorry about this guys it takes a while to find everything there it is free by free is the minimum size so Let's fast forward the game. And what does it need? It just needs to be a minimum size 3x3. Three three. Okay, awesome. So that being said, once these guys have built this room, we can make it uh, make it allocated as our cleaning cupboard. We need to put a door on there. So I'm going to put just a regular door. Going to have to be trustful of my prisoners. But this is going to be cool. So they're going to be like going around cleaning stuff. So the other thing Elfwin taught me was that if I click on the top right hand corner here and go to... Da, 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 is it jobs? No, not jobs. Regime needs programs. Yeah, where is it? No, I think it's in uh, logistics. If I go to logistics and this shows you where I can allocate all the different people. So I can allocate prisoners to the kitchen, the shop, the laundry workshop, or the cleaning cupboard. So I'm going to make three people work in the cleaning cupboard. And good news is we've almost very nearly completed our inmate nutrition research grant. There it is. We've completed it. $15,000 bonus. Beautiful. So the danger level is medium and increasing. This is not a good sign. Okay. Yeah, so these jail cells here I allocated to be for low security prisoners because they've got the most uh, they've got the most facilities like for example they've got the radio the bookshelf the tv and everything so if i go and just check not room quality minimum security yes yeah, so i thought these were going to be minimum security as well but i haven't allocated them yet not to worry let's get out of that screen beautiful and the one more thing that elfwin told me actually as well was that um i think he said the psychiatrist if i'm right in the common room can hold group meetings so you can get prisoners to come and sit on these chairs and uh, also the psychiatrist will come and sit there so what I'm gonna do is put a chair there and maybe maybe the psychiatrist will come out and hold a little group meeting for them that'll be kinda cool now I've got my guys allocated in there what I'm gonna do is set up a little CCTV camera in there keep an eye on them and I thought uh, there was somewhere else I wanted to put a CCTV camera. Where was it? Yeah, I think we'll have one in the parole room. And that will do for now. All right. Everything is going beautifully. Now, our prison's pretty good. But what I want to do is increase the size of it. I want to buy one of these plots of land. But I don't know quite how to do that. So let's try and figure that out. Bureaucracy, I think. We're going there. Extra grant. Tax relief intelligence legal uh, Elfwin as usual will probably know how to do this micromanagement and then tax relief clone I'm sure you can buy extra land death row I, I want death row eventually that'd be so cool small death row cost ten thousand dollars and you need a uh, need a lawyer Ooh. I think we need a bit more money before we go ahead and do that 
so how can I purchase these? Ah, here we go. You just need to click on one of them. So if I click on this one over here, do you wish to buy this plot of land for $20,000? I do indeed. Thank you very much. Look at that. It's opened up a big swathe more of land. So the idea is, as I mentioned in my last episode... Uh, by the way, if you want to read Elfwyn's comments, they're actually on uh, the last video. Um last video that I produced anyway, which is episode... or last video that I uploaded, which is episode 4, I think? So please check that out. But right now, we need to connect these CCTV cameras so we can get on with keeping an eye on everyone. I like my little parole room. That's new as well. So we can see people getting put up for parole, which is quite neat. And hopefully, it'll motivate them to keep their behavior high. Alright, people are having a good old eat. Feed all prisoners. We're only at 59%. I've only got 54 prisoners, though, to be fair. Alright, so I think now we've unlocked... Uh, or we completed the nutrition grant. Inmate nutrition grant. We can go and get a new grant. So which one shall we choose? Security procedure certi certification. Now, I like the education reform one. I want to do that so I can um, educate some prisoners and, and get them back on the road to living a better life. To, you know... So they're not causing so many problem, problems in society. So in order to achieve that, we need a number of campaign groups, blah, blah, blah. We need to unlock education through bureaucracy. I think I already did that. Build a classroom, build 20 school desks, have 15 prisoners pass the foundation education course, and have five prisoners pass the general education course. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on that, and this is probably going to be a big undertaking trying to complete this. Now, as I thought previously, I think I'm going to need to redesign this shower so, I can, so I've got a path that leads off into this new stretch of land. So I'm going to go and do that. Let's dismantle the CCTV camera. And da -da -da -da, dismantle that one. Dismantle that one. And then we're going to have the wall going across, yeah, across there like so. So let's fast forward the game, get that done. And hopefully in this episode I can get my classroom built. Oi! Someone's trying to escape. Hold on a minute. He's dug a tunnel. Two escapes. Three escapes. What? Who the hell is escaping? And how? God damn it. How can I How can I find out how to like get rid of tunnels? Oh yeah, it's in here. Remove tunnels. What the hell, man? How the hell? That was very sneaky. We're going to need extra security here. How is he getting out? I think it might be something to do with the water pipes. So let's not click on that. Let's click on utilities. I don't know. It could be. I mean, there's always the risk people are going to escape, I guess. Eventually, we're going to need a massive wall around this place. But uh, good luck to them. They got out. You go and enjoy your freedom, guys. Oh, is that a prisoner cleaning? No, that's janitor. Is anyone actually doing my cleaning around the prison? Come on, boys. Look at the state of these rooms. They're filthy. There's a gardener. Oh, there's trays left everywhere. Whoa, look at our kitchen. Yeah, this place needs quite a redesign. But anyway, look, there's another tunnel. Some more people are escaping. What the hell? We need guards, man. We need guards stopping all these guys. All right, let's remove that tunnel. Come on, Mr. Mr. Prisoner. Look at, look at the size of that tunnel. Where's he tunneled from? Whoa, ho, ho, ho. he's been planning that a while. Where's he coming from? He's what? He went down the toilet, climbed all the way through. Look at the size of that. These guys have been escaping for a while. Wow. I've never seen anything like that. That is incredible. Are they using my utility tunnels or what? They're just digging through the ground. That is incredible. Wow. That's like the great escape film. We need to, like, get rid of these tunnels. How can I do that easily? I guess like this. Just drag on all of them. Well, we might have to do a lockdown here and get some punishment going. We had four escapes this episode already. Woo, I'll have to call this episode The Great Escape. Hopefully. I think that's all of them, is it? I think I've got rid of all the tunnels. There we go. We'll just do that to make sure. Click and drag over all of it. Wow, wow, we were. You guys, you guys are clever. Right, let's fast forward a bit. <laughs> we lost four prisoners, now we're down to 43. I think we had more than 43 before. What? Damn you guys. Alright, where's my workmen? Are you dismantling this stuff or what, mate? Come on. 
Hurry up and get rid of all this. Come on, mate. Uh, yeah, all the way across there. Yeah, there goes the janitor cleaning everything. All these prison cells are empty because people blooming escape. We can we can actually get our prison open for more inmates now. Let's increase our intake to eight, I think nine. We can have nine more prisoners. Incredible. The ingenuity of these guys. My word. Right, okay, that's this bit is redesigned, so I can cover that up there. Then I go to room, just click on anything, right click to get rid of that area. Nice. Now I need to dismantle all of this. So let's click and, click and drag. Click and drag. And then we will start building our, our uh, route into our next part of our prison. So I don't want that bit there. That's going to be our joined on bit. Uh, I don't know actually if I need foundations for the whole thing and how much will it cost. I guess we start again from the front. There we go, big old foundation. We'll make it make it massive, but we don't want to spend too much money. You can see the cost of it there. That's incredible. All right, we'll make that for with ten thousand uh, ten thousand dollars right now, and that needs an entrance. So we need a door, and we will have a jail door, giving us access there. And. I can see that I'm building the wall in the wrong place, so let's get rid of those. And then put that, put that there. Nice. And then we need to demolish this wall, part of the wall. And everything should be good. Nice one. Alright, so we can begin building our classroom once our workers have laid the foundations for it. And everything's going to be awesome now. If you're enjoying my um, content so far, guys, please can you leave a like? It really does help. And I appreciate everyone, including Elfwin. Thanks very much again, mate. I appreciate everyone who's uh, commenting and liking and subscribing to my videos. It really motivates me to keep going, so thank you very much. All right, my shower's not too big now, but hopefully that should be okay. All right, there's a door there. We don't even need that door anymore, actually, so let's get rid of that door. And we can demolish that little bit of the wall. So we're, you can kind of do redesigns as you go along on this game, which is kind of neat. You don't need to place everything all in one place. Otherwise, that'd be so boring. You'd be like doing the design aspect forever, trying to get everything right, and then letting your workers loose to do everything. Ooh, what's been found here? New prisoner coming in. He's been found with a freaking wire or something, trying to kill people. What on earth are you up to, mister? There we go. That's what we need. We need metal detectors as well. I need more money fast though. Education reform program. Yeah. 19 prisoners up for parole. So we don't really have any room for any more prisoners except, well, just two more. So we'll get two more and I think we'll get low security ones for now. Now the thing I wish that I did when I, when I started this playthrough was um, implement the gang feature which I believe is new to, to Alpha 34 version and that's cool. You have like well, gangs in your prison, you, you know, they all have affiliations to certain gangs. And uh, they obviously get in gang warfare and stuff like that. And I think that would be quite exciting. But it would be kind of neat if you could implement that later on during your playthrough, I think. But m maybe they're not going to do that. Who knows? Alright, we've got to feed all prisoners. So soon we can begin building our classroom. But I think I'm going to have to leave that until the next episode, guys. So thanks for watching. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. Take care and I'll see you all on the next episode.